Ice One Piece Nation here today with my review of Boruto episode 13. Great episode. Uh, my only complaint about it, and I'll say this right now, is more of like a nitpick, but couldn't Sakura and Lee just tag team new? I couldn't new, I think that's how it's pronounced. Couldn't Sakura and Lee just tag team them? Man, I can see a slight problem with Sakura's style of fighting because she does release her chakra on it. When she, the way she fights it, is she gathers chakra in a part of her body and releases it instantaneously on impact. So maybe that would cause problems, but I'm thinking if you release the new time to the releasing properly, you could probably get in a lot of good blows. And the way Naruto makes it seem is that this thing is not that powerful. It's more so they can't use ninjutsu to actually kill it. <coughs> like, he can't use any of crazy attack, but Sakura should be able to. And without Lee, why can't Lee just open up like the fifth gate and just go ham on this guy that? I don't know, I, I thought that to be quite strange that Naruto are gonna just bring two of the best Taijutsu fighters in the village and direct it. I'm not saying Sakura is the best skilled in Taijutsu, I think her Taijutsu blows, when she enhances them, rival or probably stronger than Lee's, let's be honest. But, uh, I mean, I don't see Lee shattering the whole ground in a single strike. So while she's not in skill, she can rival them in physical muscle and stuff when she wants to. But uh, m moving on to terms of when Sakura and Lee be being the one that should be able to beat Neo easily, um, I can talk about the classical rap today. I love it. I love it. I never, I, I, I kind of knew the classical rap was never there, but there have been so many of the ghost incidents. I was like, no. The class rep had to, a uh, Dengi, was the class rep there when Dengi did it? I don't think he, I don't think he was. Like, I, I'm the, my, the class rep was not there when Dengi did it. I'm not sure, maybe she did it via some other method. I'm not sure, but besides for the Dengi thing, I'm pretty sure it adds up. That she was there for all the other incidents. Um, I like it. Good job, people. Uh, I'm gonna really congratulate. Is it Kishi's idea? Or is it Pariot? Or is it the guy who in the manga? I don't know. I'm just gonna say good job, everybody. But, uh. <laughs> no, but, uh. Hershey, stop barking. No, but it's a really, really good episode. I don't have much else to say of the. My, my, my favorite thing in the whole episode, though, is when Naruto go Biju mode, and God's like, no! <laughs> like, Naruto ready to murder this guy. Like, full blown, like, tail being rot and shittikin, this guy, that. <laughs> no, but, uh, that way it looked like he's ready to do it. Yeah, he's just like, that's a really shitty idea, because apparently, the purpose of new is not to. Uh, many of us assumed it was going to be Boruto era nine tails attack, but no. The purpose of new is to gather a large quantity of chakra, and then it, and then turn that chakra into a self exploding bomb on the Majin Vegeta crap, and blow itself up, and take oh crap, and take the whole village with it. Genius. Because this means that besides for Taijutsu characters and weak ninjutsu, they really can't, no, none of the top tiers in the village, mainly Naruto, can hurt it. And it's a great way of, you know, Naruto's dead, I'll blow it away in one move. Naruto flat out said, I can beat this thing in one attack. And Naruto's sensing abilities are like, Naruto a god tier sensing ability, so he would know. Um, I loved the bit where Boruto, like, created the Shadow Clone. I wasn't sure about when you the hand sign, though. That weirded me out, but... Uh, I liked how he created the Shadow Clone, and then the Shadow Clone hit him, knocked Mishki over, and then took out Mishki. Mishki Clone. That was great. 
Daruti Maru, and yeah, a spoiler, the one talking to Michi, Daruti Maru, anybody who watched Naruto knows that. <coughs> but again, so when you're watching Boruto and you had not seen Naruto, you can't really be involved in the online community. And there are things that we're going to figure out before the anime revealed them very easily. And it's going to be a big deal in the anime when we when, when reveal this is all Ruchi Maru behind Miki. Guess what? None of us are going to be surprised. We, 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 we've seen enough of the Ruchi Maru to be like, Snake, little kid, Ruchi Maru, pedophile. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Miki talking to a pedophile daddy. Yeah, that's what's going on right now. I didn't wonder, do Ruchi Maru still kidnap children for his body? Like, we know he still does the body switching, because he died and he did some lady's body. So then he, he grabs a random bitch off the street and it's like, Hey, I gotta use your, I gotta use your body. Screw you. Like, I don't know how that goes. <laughs> no, but, uh... Moving back to the actual plot, uh... Mickey said you're gonna kill Simre. Simre? Zimray. Zimray, I believe her name is. I don't know what her name is. The clack rep it. And then they kill the clack rep. So we go to kill the clack rep. Boruto gets in between them while they're fighting. The clack rep is apparently boss. I mean, this is the equivalent. I mean, just look at... I mean, this is the equivalent for us, but imagine if Sakura had decided to kill Sakura when they were kids, and Sakura had just blocked all of his attacks. On some joning shit. It was just like, oh yeah, I'm not like joning level and kill. Like, that is what the kid did. The kid was just like, oh yeah, I'm actually just as good as you with this. I'm just faking being useless. I think girls literally fake to being useless. So when they saw her, they'd be like, what? what? <laughs> like, I was like, what? Like, uh, oh, okay. You can do this apparently. So, so she comes in. He blocks all the attack. Uh, they're fighting. They go to kill each other with them kunai. Miki's like, you should not have come here and you're gonna regret it. Because, because you need to make a choice between the village, your family, and the clack rap. And I, I was not a fan of this answer. He said both. And I was like, god damn it, Parrot. Like, you want him to be better different from Naruto. Yet that is exactly what Naruto said to anyone that said the village and your friends or Sasuke. <laughs> it's like in the exact same line of logic. I get it. He's a main shonen protagonist and he's a ninja and he has duties. So this is a common problem we'll face. But come on! Like, we're, it would be really interesting if Boruto was like, you know what, I'm gonna kill, I'm gonna kill the class rap. Because you could obviously know me, that, and you could have made that, I, I would not have minded that. I mean, that would have been realistic. But, uh, that kind of bothered me. I mean, okay, it's not that I don't like it. I do. It's a very admirable quality in a character. Makes him more likable. But it's also like, that doesn't help, see, it doesn't help differentiate him. From Naruto. Like him and Naruto when it comes to their friends. Have the same mindset. And it's kind of annoying. But I mean. But, but, it all, but it, it's annoying. Because, they're, because he keeps talking about how different he is. But he's actually very similar. In his core belief system. But then again. I don't know if I'd be able. If I would like the character nearly as much. If he was like an asshole. Like I'm going to kill the class rep now. I don't know if I would. But uh. Moving on from that, uh, so when Boruto gets in between Miki and the class rap and grabs their kunai, his eye, like, discharges lightning, and you is transported away with something that looks very much like Kamoi. Like, a you know, because it's that tag, the don't ask why, they animated it like Kamoi. Naruto even said a transportation jitsu. Now, and there's a point where I wonder why Naruto didn't go and get it, just grab it while it was tram. And then one of those anime moments where you're kind of like, Naruto, why are you standing there and watching? Then Naruto could easily have gone into Biju mode or step past Dave and you bolted over there and you teleported with it. Been in that other dimension that we see later on with Boruto and just, there would be no villain. 
Like he could have wrecked it. <coughs> I understand the point. Because Naruto gets into that. He wants the beast is out of the village. Is Naruto alone with that beast in another dimension? He gonna he gonna rape it. <laughs> he gonna rape that thing. He's he just gonna like kill it. Slowly just murder it. So like do I understand why they did that? Uh me uh Sumrata also how she wants to give it her chakra or something. Or uh, I don't know what word she said, but she jumps into the portal and Mickey's like, it's a very bad idea. Boruto, do not jump in. Get what Boruto proceeds to do. He jumps in. So next week we're getting Boruto versus New and Boruto versus Sumrede. I'm ho- I can't believe I'm saying this, but I hope it's some friendship BS. I really do. I hope it's some friendship bullshit. And he like convinces Sumrede to help, to tell him. And they find like, I- a way around fighting the new because I'm sorry, Naruto was going to step in to fight new. Sakura was in the area. Sai was in the area. Kakashi was in the area. Two of Sakura and Kakashi, two of the strongest ninjas in the village, were in the area. And Naruto felt the need to. By the way, when he appeared to fight new, I think he needed to find Thunder God. That could be Body Flicker. That could be very. It's very hard. I have a hard time telling the difference, but considering how quickly and into how we were just considering the kind of like dropping effect thing you were very similar to the one Minato used, I think it may be flying Thunder God. But the Naruto comes in, and like I kind of like why it's, just, it's like you know this beast Naruto him Naruto with a Maki thought this beast needed his personal attention, like. Naruto is very poor. Like, look at the war. He, no, Sakura was like, I'm fighting with you. He was like, he, 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 he was like, okay, sure, I trust your strength. He, uh, did, or, or all the time, Sasuke, he let Sasuke take the lead. Like, Naruto was very trusting of the strength of his teammate. And I do, and I seriously doubt he would feel the need to interfere so seriously. If he thought, I, I'm pretty sure he would have gone after Boruto if Sakura, if he felt Sakura and Kakashi could handle this. But it's clear that he doesn't think those two could handle it. So Sakura's not there, but let's be honest, if she needed to get there, she could. She's a Jonin. Uh, she could, she could, if Sakura was, she could be there in seconds. Just one simple body flicker, she would be there. But the point is that I don't think he believes Sakura and Kakashi can take the thing. I think Naruto legitimately believes he needs to be, he is one of the few that could kill this thing. Like, it's pretty, it's, 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 it's really powerful. But the, the point is, the fact that Naruto took this so seriously is proof that Boruto can't beat it. The fact that Naruto himself felt the need to, like, step in in Kakashi, the Sith Hokage fight, and be like, Kakashi sent that? I, I, honestly, I don't. I'm like, we're not sure if you can do this. I'm gonna blow it away in a single attack. So, yeah. The fact that I'm, I'm, I'm like, I hope they kind of write their way around it instead of actually having Boruto beat it. I mean, if, if you tell me Boruto can do something a couple of experienced Jonin couldn't do, screw you, Boruto good. He's not that good. I also do kind of wonder on a side note though, I'm gonna do a video on this in the future where I talk about my my character that I think will be great for Ace Okage and why some characters will be better than others, but if Naruto's dead, the most logical conclusion from a fan base professor that would please the majority of the fan base would be Kamahamaru. Yet and people are saying Kamahamaru is but I'm like, but they're not setting him up like one. Like he's not even here! Like, the villains that are attacking Kurohamaru isn't even here. Like, fighting a cop, fighting this beast. And, like, unless we can get a serious Kurohamaru Hokage X moment, I refuse to believe he'll be the Hokage. But, yeah. Um, after that all, really good episode of Boruto. I didn't even tell about how much I talked about it. That I really. I had. I think it was. There are going to be some weeks. Naruto's a series where I always have a lot to say. 
being like, oh, I can really theorize more. I feel more comfortable theorizing with Naruto than I do One Piece. I mean, like, I have a better grasp of Naruto. I like One Piece more to an extent, but that's a multi equally, really. But I have a better grasp of its lore and kissy writing style. Like, I can never really tell where One Piece is going. Naruto, I can kind of tell what's going on better. It's also an anime, so, I, so there's more content. But, uh, yeah. I really enjoy talking about this episode. Great episode. If I was doing ratings, which I'm not for that, I kind of just talking about them. But, uh, 10 out of 10. Really good episode. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. I do these every week. And I have a couple of pieces of interesting content coming out next week. But, yeah. Uh, peace out. Have a good day, guys.